Okay, we got Bell versus Yo-Yo here. So I think the last time I commented here, Bell was considered pretty low on the tiers, but he's moved up significantly. People have been finding a lot more stuff with him as of late. One of the gimmicks, for people that don't know, one of the gimmicks about Bell is that the Bell shield actually, uh, it hurts the opponent. As if I'm not mistaken, right? Like, if you attack the Bell shield, doesn't it hurt them? Uh, yeah, it's right there. You, I, I believe if you hit it in the first 15 frames of activation, so it hurts the opponent. One, so Bell's pretty insane. One frame one through frame 15 of Bell's shield hurts the opponent. I believe so. I could be wrong about that, but yeah. And that's uh, apparently Bell's the top of high tier, and it's I, that's probably a big reason because look, look, he keeps doing it. Like, you, just by shielding and protecting yourself, you're hurting your opponent for the first quarter second. Having that feature is like, it makes him a unique matchup that people are not going to be as ready for if you're not used to fighting the character. Yeah. He's definitely one of the better at uh, power shielding in this game, which is very important against a lot of the, the campier high tiers, because you can kind of run through the projectiles assuming your timing's good. The one uh, the trade-off to it, though, is you can't roll. Yeah, like, I was going to say that. Roll at all. I was about to say just what you said, that they can't, you, you, your shield, you do have that, but you also can't roll the shield. So what yo is doing is he's just camping at a distance, but... Or, see, if Yo-Yo's gonna keep retreating, you can wait for Bell to do his shield first. Use your human reaction time and be like, oh, Bell went in shield. Uh, but, and then now you can attack because after frame 16, it's just, it, it doesn't really help him. See? Yeah, exactly. By just yeah, walking away. Yeah, if you get your timing down, you can still avoid it pretty well. Yeah. Like, it's very useful up until your opponent gets wise to it, and then a lot of times they have a way to deal with it. Or they can just wait to attack, honestly. Apparently you can do some advanced tech in order to roll, but not 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 the normal way. But yeah, so basically, uh, Yo-Yo knowing that he can just retreat against Bell. First off, Yo-Yo wants to space anyway. Second off, like the Bell playstyle there in that match was kind of gimmicky. You just kept he just kept spamming the same thing, trying to do the shield over and over. Even even someone like me who doesn't know the game on that level can like observe that like oh he's just doing that a lot. So I'll be like okay, well I don't want to get by this over and over. I'm just gonna wait out your move, and when you miss your move, then it's gonna be my advantage. You attack second. Good luck today, Sharp. Good luck in ultimate. Save your replace! Let's see that Sephiroth, sir. But I want to see that Sephiroth, Sharp. All right. Yeah, the other issue with Bell is kind of your only option for camping your... Oh! Oh, I thought someone was playing Midnight for a second. Um, your only option for camping out your opponent for the most part is the, the dash attack, where you shoot out the two Bells. But the problem is those go straight up, so you don't really have that much of a range with that. And outside of that, your only other option is to approach with shield. And if your opponent gets wise to that, I think the game plan can kind of fall apart pretty quickly. Uh, he went, he went, he went uh, Robin Hood. But Yo-Yo's all over him. And he doesn't have to worry about the bell shield, so he's just going in. Going in with the Yo-Yo dash attack. Over 100 damage already. It's Yo-Yo's destroying him. Yo-Yo's not gotten hit. A perfect match. Yeah, Yo-Yo is completely going off this match. Zero damage on Yo-Yo. Wow. Did he Never mind. Oh, takes one hit of damage. That's Yo -Yo takes a hit. I still think he's got the match, though, which is what matters. All right, he's got him All against right. the corner here. Walk just the gotta, dog. Ah, gets him with, walk gets the, him with dog. the walk the dog. Very nice. That's the Ness down smash. Did you know in Ness's down smash in Smash 64, in the official strategy guide for Smash 64, it's called walk the dog, his down smash? <laughs> And then uh, really? his, up, his up smash is called Around the World. So Ness's up smash is Around the World in Smash 64, and his down smash is Walk the Dog. Except that that Walk the those smash attacks do like 19 and 21 damage. <laughs> his yo-yos were super strong in those games. And then it started. It's his yo-yos became terrible for a bunch of Smash games. And then in Ultimate, now you just two frame easily with it. So it was good in Smash 64 and good and really good in Ultimate, mainly because of Around the for different reasons like yo-yo charge on. Uh, and a yo-yo down smash over ledge, just for different reasons is good. But for like games like Melee, it moves like, like horrendously bad unless you use the glitch. Yeah, because Melee has that glitch where you can get the hitbox to stay in the air, and then you can extend it all the way across the stage if you use the side smash or something. Which is pretty nuts. Yeah, and then Ultimate has the ledge tank, which is really good for edge guarding. It's so brain dead. You literally just charge the smash attack, and it hits the, the ledge like every frame or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's literally a free two frame that you just don't have to time. Yeah, but it's online is extra broken. <laughs> Completely, yeah. I can't take it seriously. Like, minimum Look at it. Twelve frames of input lag. It's uh, definitely very useful for not having to time it correctly. Is that Santa? Is that Christmas tree? Look at him. Look at his little mustache. I want to. I want to have like that. 
Don't want to give me a hat like that. I can't take this game seriously. <laughs> Look at the bell. He's going back to bell. He kind of picked the Christmas tree. I do like this stage pick better for Bell because he's got less distance he has to close between him and Yoyo. Yeah, small but... stage, so you're always closer. That's what Bell, Bell wants to be close. Bell's good up close. For those that don't know, Bell has like, he can just mash on you and then do tons of damage. He, Bell needs to be close. Yoyo wants yeah, to tank exactly. His, uh, his jab combo is completely busted in the story mode because the uh, CPUs just they don't, don't get out of it ever. They you don't can literally yeah. just do it. Yeah, you do it infinitely. In a 1v1, it's broken, particularly. Yeah. But you can see their Nuggets was able to roll out of it. Like, he had it, he had him in, like, the first two hits, but he was able to get out of it. But in the story mode, they just never escape. You can just do it for as long as you want. Dude. Nuggets is destroying him with you. This is not yeah. close. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't really like a lot of Bell's options here. I mean, he's do like he's trying to do what he's been doing the whole match, which is just approaching with shield, but Nuggets kind of knows what he's doing there, so he doesn't really have a lot of great options. Like, you can see there, Nuggets is just waiting for him to drop shield to actually yeah. go for a spacing attack. Or just wait for Bell to miss, and then the risk-reward of just attacking at a random period of time after Bell, miss Bell misses is also favoring you on average. Yeah, it's excellent. As long as Bell misses, strikes first and misses and you notice it, then striking second is your favorite. Also, they can't hold the shield forever. There's a, there's a meter. So as long as he strikes first and misses, then it's your favorite. That's the important thing. Yeah. And the shield breaks work the same as in Smash, where if your shield breaks, you get stunned for like ten, uh, five seconds. I think you, I believe you can mash out of it, but still you're stunned yeah, for yeah, a while. You're, you're, it's, it's, you're, just... it's a free hit. It's a free hit. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I just really didn't like a lot of Bell's options there. I think the other issue is that a lot of your moves as Bell kind of stall your movement and, like, your momentum. Like, if you look at, like, the shield or the... Especially the jab combo, it kind of just locks your movement, like, from, like, going around. So it, it leaves you especially open after a lot of attacks because you can't then escape as you're using the move. Like, if you look at Yo-Yo, a lot of his attacks, you can keep moving while you're using them, so it's much harder to punish. But Bell, you're locked in a position the second you start swinging the Bell 